Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto, and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today we are reacting to him breaking down SB19 and their track "I Want You." I just heard. I, I gotta apologize. Is it pronounced Gento or Hento? Yento, how's it pronounced? <laughs> Leave a comment or text me actually. It's probably the best way to reach out to me so I can see every message because I respond to every text. I try to my best to respond to every comment. So uh, let's see what we got. This is I Want You SB19 breaking it down. Make this a little bit bigger for you. There we go. Dude, this is crazy. Ain't nobody better for you. Promise this is where I won't lie. Say it's more than a physical attraction, it's a passion, baby. How could I for you? Don't you ever doubt it? How about it, baby? If you're gonna love it, honey, did any time you come around it, I'm down. Right, let's get right at this. I want you. Yeah, man, the production on this. Ain't nobody better for you. Promise this is where I won't lie. Dude, this is sick. Say it's more a physical attraction. It's a passion, baby. How could I for you? Don't you ever doubt it? How about it, baby? If you're gonna Dude, lie. where did I feel like not that it's a bad thing. I feel like they usually have accents in their music. It's just kind of like what I, how they sing. I feel like, but I feel like they totally don't have accents when they sing this one. I got to be honest with you. Um, the production, which is interesting, because I feel like so many artists lose their accents when they start singing English. Um, whether they're from the UK, they they just don't, they don't sound. I don't know. They sound uh, not necessarily American. They just lose their accent, uh, which is very. I've always found it very interesting in the music industry. Um, production on this is ridiculous. Uh, does anybody know who produced this? Like just from the intro, I'm, I'm gonna bring it back to where we were. But just like this intro, like the like the swelling of the drums just on the drums by the cells is pushing pulling and phaser a phaser is like a some sort of like a what's the best way to explain it it's it's a modulation uh effect where like it kind of gives a swirly swishing kind of effect on an instrument kind of like a flanger i, I gotta actually look what the difference between a flanger and a phaser are. flanger might be messing with the the um the uh, EQ essentially, uh, as opposed to like the, the actual pitch. I gotta, I gotta actually do research on that. But this is this is crazy, man. This is really cool. And their voices sound so good. So good. Pulsing. Dude, this the melody too. Like I love that pause there. It's like I have a lyrics for me, so I know what's about to say. But next, but if you don't, and you just kind of listen and be like, "Well, what's next?" Like that's a cool, and it it doesn't feel like a forced. Like that's a cool pause right there. Like I got man. Like every time I hear a track by them, their music just gets better and better and better. And I, I'm a little jealous actually of uh Dennis the the King family. Uh, King family reacts and Dennis King and his his, his two sons that went and saw SB19 live in New York. I was uh I was not available to go there. I was out of the state, I think, or or, or something happened where I just was not able to see them live in New York. Um, but regardless, like just so like I I would have loved to see this song live. Must be unbelievable. Like, pff, man, I'm I'm like just the production is so good and the writing's really good. Who wrote? Did they all write this? Fresh, 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 
Nice echo. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Okay, let's talk about this really quick. That effect right there, that I'm going to rewind a little bit, that you just heard right there, that effect um, is the, what's it called? It's something, it's called a pitch shifter. And a lot, the very popular one is, called, you could do it in a bunch of different ways, but the very popular one is called the Little Alter Boy. It's a plugin by, uh, I don't remember who makes it. Um, I have it in my plugins. It is by Sound Toys, I think, makes it. Um, and essentially, you could shift up vo or down vocals to uh, either an octave up or an octave down or anywhere in between. And you can also mess with the formant, um, which is kind of how the voice sounds as well, like just a different tone of the voice. So this is, this is uh, really cool. That's the effect. When you, so they would probably, they just sang it regular and then they shifted it up to give that cool effect. This is really cool. Kind of reminds me of like in sync. Walking melody. Got that swelly kind of sound. Nice layer vocal. Let's talk about the uh, the 808 that's going on here. I, I have a video on YouTube um, that I'm surprised is actually still like getting views on it. it it's uh, talking about what an 808 bass is, um, and essentially what it is. It, it's 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 very interesting actually because it's it's not what you think. It's we he, we're so used to it today it being a bass, um, but it's actually a kick drum, and it's from that uh, Roland 808 drum. Like it's essentially drum drum kit. It's a drum uh, drum machine. Is technically what it's called. Where you could program a drum beat. Um, and what we started doing in the '80s and '90s, and, and particularly in hip hop music, but it's kind of adapted to everything that R and B, rap, uh, hip hop, pop. All, like it's just in general. Now now it's in in American country music. It's crazy. Um, but what, what you're essentially doing is uh, uh, increasing the release of the the kick drum, which uh, the release is instead of it being like a boom. It's now you increase the release, which would be, that would be a short release. The long release would be boom. And now you can pitch that and like you can slide it up and down. Like that's how we get that modern 808 bass. Harmony. Ooh, a little behind the beat there. That was cool. That melody is so good it's going up. Do 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 do. Yeah, come on, the high notes. Yo, what was that? Was that was a vocal or a synth? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yo, this is crazy good. I like the instrumental, that's cool. You don't hear a lot of instrumentals lately, and I, I actually appreciate the fact that you hear one in here. I gotta be honest, I so far, I haven't heard the rest of the EP yet, but uh, this potentially is the best song I've ever heard from them. Just production-wise, is probably the best production-wise I've ever, like, it, it is so well produced, I don't know if I know anything that compares. Then you, you know, there's other factors too. Though, like like meaning wise, like of course, like Mappa is like tremendously meaningful. But like production, just straight on music production, this is ridiculous. So I hope you enjoyed that. Send me a text if you have any comments or want to say what's up. Numbers are on the screen. Best way to support this channel is by checking out my own music. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you want to see next, preferably by text. Send me a text. God bless and peace out.